I wanted to give you a quick Otani update because of some of the things I'm noticing in the data. So he still is holding the top four spots in the Sports Card Investor app, the, where it has uh, all the cards ranked based on the different data and the algorithms, how many are being bought and sold and the demand of those. But a few changes or updates I'm noticing. He's still the top four, but if we run through here, he's got seven of the top 20 spots still. You'll see one, two, three, four. He's got the top four. Then he's also got um, the sixth spot, the eighth spot, and the 14th spot, and then on the 24th. So seven of the top 20, but take note here. All the 30-day um, gains and increases, still very high. Uh, percentages like 30-day increase of near 200%, 78%, 100%. 4%, 60%. But what's leading me to think he is coming off his peak or there's going to be a uh, cool down and some dip, maybe a little bit of that buying opportunity to buy when he's off his uh, peaks and highs is because uh, five of those seven now have red or in the red for the seven day. So if you watch the number one card is down 10%. Number two card is one of the few in the green for him in the seven day and it's only negligible 1%. So um, the number three card uh, is Bowman's best refractor. I think that that's because people are just starting to um, notice that card. So it does have a significant seven-day increase, but all the rest are in the red over the seven-day, coming down off of um, highs that were massive increases recently. So keep an eye on that. Um, you might have a little bit of uh, buying opportunity coming up here, and, and if he doesn't, um, hit 60 home runs or win the MVP to get some price bump from one of those two events. He's obviously going to be a long-term